Hornby. Two locomotives from that set. Right, so we start off with the Jinty that comes with it, travelling at a modest speed. And around we go and everything seems to be alright. We get to this section of track. And nothing to report. I'll tell you what, we'll speed it up a little bit. I'm sure this is taking so long, but I reckon if I did it by email, you wouldn't understand what the problem was. So right, we get to that section of track again, let's slow it down again. No problem. Right, so we can just close round. It's not very realistic, is it? Right, let's slow it back down to that. Right, no problem. Okay, so. Let's uncouple this one. Oh wait, Shunter, body removed for clarity. And we do the same thing again. I'll program it in, 8, select, off we go. Get it right that. Right, better track. No problem. Spin round again. Bit of track, set of points. No problem. Once more, spin it round. Go to track. No problem. Okay. Right. Now then. Stop it there. Uncouple it. Now then, I've been running it without the um oh, I don't say I've lost the screw. Without the front coupling fitted. Let's put that in. Front coupling fitted. Off we go. Right, that's gone into overload. Have a look, see? No, it's gone into overload. There we go, let's try it again, off we go. Bit of track. And it stops. There you go. Let's give it a push, get it going. Bit of track. Just 
straws again. Let's get it going. Let's bring it back round. Stop it there. Remove the front coupling. Front coupling removed again, approaching that same spot. No problem. Do it again. So whenever I fit the front coupling on it, it plays up stores and goes into overload and when the front coupling's not fitted, it runs as it should. There you go, I'm sure you have a boff in there that might be able to suggest what the problem is. Thank you, bye! <laughs>